Hello and welcome my friends and here we have special video for my user and my subscriber what name is name withheld name withheld and you you ask that how I can know that I have bad or good pressure in my tires and my fields in car or truck and here I have excellent example in this that field this is okay and how I can check this my field that that this pressure is okay and also I need to check that I have this feel nuts in here four pieces and now there is two of those are missing they have dropped to highway and I have to add in here more nuts in here too but this video's purpose is that how I can know that I have enough this air in my car or trucks these tires Okay, and this first thing is that if we have good quality boots, where is this hard, hard nose, we can little bit hit this side in that way. And we can feel when we test that, that when we have much pressure, this feels harder. And then this is like first step. And then second step is what I use. I always measure this area in my cars because it is easy to see we daily or weekly pace we look that area in here if we have good quality high pressure tire then this area is upper and then when we have bad and flat tire this area became smaller like thin thin part and we can now actually measure this amount Okay, and if we have this liner, like I have, we can install this liner is just in the central area. And then I measure this area here to this steel, steel plane in here, this metallic steel area in this area. And now when I measure that, I can see that there is about 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters is this amount, 10 centimeters, it is about 3 inches or 4 inches that area. And now I can know that if I have good pressure, this my feel and tire, then in this my Toyota Corolla car, there is 10 centimeters this area. And then we look also, this is like second trick that we measure that. And then the third one is the also very good. This is the third one what I invented just right. Then that when I use my fingers, I can press this my side area, this area in here. And if I have high pressure, this is difficult to press in here. And let's go to look closer this view. Okay, and now when we look that closer, we can see that when I insert my finger, this my finger goes only like a couple of millimeters inside in here. And in that my feel and tire, there is 2.4 bar pressure in inside. And this is just okay for this Toyota Corolla car. And look, my thumb, it goes only a little bit, couple of millimeters. And this is like finger test, this final one. And that's, it is good to do those three inspections. First one is this, that I kick this my, with my hard heavy duty boot. And then second is that I measure this amount in this down area, in here, in down area. And final one is that I press my thumb and fingers. And in this way, I can see that this my tire is okay and there is good pressure and fourth one the best one is that if we have, have measurement tool 
This is like fourth one that if we have measurement tool, when we measure that, this is final and best test. And now we can see that there is bar about 2.2. Let's look closer. The closer that there is 2.2 bar, or in PSI it is about 30, 32 PSI. And that means that now we have good pressure in our this field, and this is like fourth test. And then we go to look this bad, bad flat tire. Next. Okay, and here we have really flat tire, and now we do same test like in this good one. And first one is this kick test, and do not do that test with sneakers, like Nike sneakers, because then we have hurt in our this fingers, but in if we have heavy duty boots, we can test. Listen this. And this feels softer. This is easy to feel. It is softer. But this is only first test. And second test is that if we have some specific measurement tool, like pencil or something else, we can measure that how flat is this down area. We measure in here this area, not in that area, and not in up, only down. And let's go to measure down measurement. And now when we look that down area, interesting, central area I install in here. And now we look at what is this amount, and now we can see that it is about 8. It is 8, 8 centimeters. And that means that now this area is thinner, because there is less air. And this is easy to check, that now there is 8 centimeters, when in this good high pressure tire it was 10. And then we do this final two test. Third test was that I install my fingers. And now we can see that this my finger goes like almost half centimeters. Much easier in inside. Because there is so low amount of air in here. And this is good point to test. And let's go to look closer. Okay, and now we can see nicely when I install my finger that this is really soft. It goes like in thumb very easily like four millimeters inside. Look, so easy because there is so low amount of air. And this is this was like third test. And then final test is this measurement test. Final the fourth one is the best one. There is my tool. We don't need any Hose in here. I installed this my test equipment in here, and then we can see that there's only a little bit more than one bar, 1.1 bar. And let's look closer. And yeah, now we can see that there is about 1.1 bar in there, and it is too less this pressure. And because normally here must to be at least. 2.2 bar, what is about 30 PSI. But this is the fourth test, and in this way, when we do this test in daily or weekly pace, we can always to notice right away that hey, we have flat tire because flat tire is bad because it it is not so good to drive. It is dangerous in roads and those corners, and also flat tire consumes about 10% more gasoline and fuel and diesel. Because this is not flat tire, it don't rotate so well than high pressure tire. But this is the best one. I like this when I thump this side, and also I look this area especially. That down area. And if we have some specific tool for this just right, we can measure this easy way that if this in high pressure it is just this line, and if this is lower amount in here, then we can right away think that now I have bad tire. 
good. This kind of information to you, my friends.